Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make Ras Malai cupcakes. It is the most requested video and it is one of my most made recipes on my website. So let's get started. It's a very simple and easy dessert. I am making it by using a lot of store-bought help and there's nothing wrong with that so it's a very semi-homemade dessert. I'm using store-bought cake mix and then cooking it according to package directions. I have just just added cardamom powder to that and then I'm going to bake the cupcakes. Once the cupcakes are baked, I'm going to let them cool and while the cupcakes are baking, let's go ahead and make the frosting. This part is a little bit finicky because we're going to be making whipped cream frosting. So I have chilled my mixing bowl and the attachment because it works really better. It works really well when everything is just really, really cold. So to your mixing bowl, add your whipping cream, cardamom powder, saffron, and some powdered sugar. Whip that until it forms stiff peaks just like this. Transfer that to a piping bag and you want to chill this piping bag for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you have more time, you can chill this for longer. And then go ahead and let's start making the Ras Malai cupcakes. So take your cupcakes that's cooled down and I'm going to scoop out about one tablespoon of the cupcake out and then I'm going to fill that in with some Ras Malai along with the milk. And then you want to top it back off with the cupcake mix and then you want to frost it with the whipped cream frosting that we just made and then I like to go ahead and use these little pipettes and fill it with the Ras Malai milk and put them in the cupcakes because it just looks so cute and you can squeeze it out before eating. It makes it so fun and cool to eat. So I'm going to be doing my garnishes with pistachios, sliced almonds and some rose petals and that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do.